Hello, folks. Well, the uh, the shed cam is back up and running. Finally got the computer fixed. Just got it up and going here a few minutes ago. Percy forgot to give me the power cord back and the monitor cable, so a little scrounging around was able to come up with those. So I just got it up and running. So I figured I may as well celebrate with a beer. You know, no, not that I need a, something like a new a computer return to uh, celebrate with a beer, but any reason will do. So currently we're in day two of um, what I want to call, what should I call it, COVID reality. <laughs> uh, Monday here, the government and uh, everybody else finally started taking this seriously. Uh, provincially, our cases are starting to spike. Uh, Ontario, I think they've doubled. Uh, BC, I think they've doubled. I think all the provinces uh, have cases now, except for maybe Nova Scotia. I don't think they had one as of yesterday, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so our love Prime Minister went on the airwaves Monday. Uh, finally closed the border. Well, sort of closed the border. The border is still open to illegal immigrants, apparently, but <laughs> don't want to go there. So anyways, he finally closed the border, uh, you know, a month too late, you know, we had direct flights from China coming in here, uh, tons of people coming back and forth from Iran, you know, the, the two hot spots. But anyways, it's finally closed, except for the American border. Uh, Americans are still able to go freely across our border. Um, that may change though if there's a huge spike in cases in the US uh, we may close the border or vice versa if we got a big spike up here uh, the US government might, cl might close the border so um, bottom line is nobody knows nobody knows anything of how this is going to play out uh, we're basically just along for the ride right now so last video I did, I alluded to on Sunday, uh, the shopping panic started for real. So I went in some stores on Monday, um, getting emptier. Uh, one thing I couldn't find was ground beef. Um, just thought we should have a few packages of ground beef and freeze it, but couldn't find it. So this morning, Lunchtime, I went around to all the major grocery stores where I work. Uh, they, I forget ground beef, they had hardly any meat, like basically zero meat. And uh, my son's working from home, so I sent him a text, got him to go up to uh, check some other stores up north of us there, and they had nothing as well. So on the way home, I decided to uh, stop in. Uh, we've got a little supermarket here where I live. Uh, stopped in there, and actually, they just put out, I don't know. 10 or 12 packages of ground beef so so I didn't buy them all I'm not one of those people <laughs> but, I, but I think I bought three of them and uh, they actually had some chicken too that couldn't get any fresh chicken in any of the other places so I bought a couple of big packages of chicken breast so we're gonna freeze those as well too and you know just so we have a little stash of food going um, no toilet paper, a uh, few paper towels are starting to come back on the shelves now. Um, actually, another thing that's wiped out is bread. <laughs> can't can't buy bread anywhere. Like, the bread is all gone. I guess people are buying it up and freezing it. So, so the bread is gone. Um, businesses are already starting to lay people off. Uh, one guy I know, uh, he's got a little winery and... He went from uh, a few weeks ago, the best sales he's ever had, to uh, zero orders. All his orders were canceled. So Monday morning, he had to lay off all his staff and uh, try and get a hold of his bank and see uh, see what arrangements he could make. With uh, it's pretty hard when you have zero income coming in to do anything. Um, there's other businesses now are starting to uh, the layoffs are starting to come up. Uh, 
here in BC, they, uh, they declared a public health emergency. I think it was this morning. They had a press conference this morning, I think. See either this morning or this afternoon. So many press conferences. <laughs> Anyways, uh, health emergency. They just, so they've decided to close all the bars. They're all closed now. So, I mean, right away, that's all the people that worked at those bars are out of a job. Um, yesterday at midnight, they closed all the casinos in BC. So that's going to be a, a huge hit on the provincial bottom line. Um, you know, like your like gambling or not, I mean, it brings in money for the government. So, so that shut down. Uh, they shut all the schools down indefinitely. So, so they think they might be out till the fall. So it's going to mess all the graduating students up and everything. So, so as of now, they're closed indefinitely. Uh, daycares haven't been ordered closed yet, but I know most of them are the private ones anyways. They're, they're just closing on their own. I know at our other office, we had a bunch of guys absent yesterday and it wasn't because they were sick or anything. There's just no daycare. So if one of the parents is working or if you're a single parent, um, you got no choice. You're going to stay home and look after your children. So, so it's all starting to snowball. Um. So it's an amazing situation. It's an unreal situation. Um, you know, it's one that uh, I wish, <laughs> wish we weren't living through. I wish I wasn't witness to it. But so we'll see what Friday brings. Uh, like I say, this thing just keeps changing day by day. But uh, so we'll see what happens by Friday. I mean, everybody might be home. Uh, what they're worried about is the uh, sudden spike in cases that will crash the health system. Uh, I guess basically that's what's happening in Italy. Um, the hospitals are just overwhelmed, staff's overwhelmed. And uh, it's not because they don't have a good health care system. They've got, I saw numbers on amounts of beds per capita and everything. Uh, they do have a good health system, but they're, uh, they have a older population per capita. I guess that's contributes to it somewhat but uh, they're starting to see now though where it'll uh, you know you don't necessarily have to be an old geezer like me <laughs> to catch it young people are getting it too and uh, quite seriously too so i mean just like you say two weeks ago it would have been hard to envision this so i really don't know what to expect in a week or so so anyways, I think it's prudent there just to have a little stash of food anyways. I mean, don't get crazy or anything, but you know, you might not be able to lose, leave your house or your apartment or something for two weeks. If it gets bad enough, two or three weeks. And, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the banks are shutting down. So I think it's prudent just to have a little bit of cash on hand in case you need it. It's like I say, right now, nobody knows how this is going to play out. Um, optimistic that it's not going to go on forever but uh, I think realistically it's going to go on for a month or two China the uh, I guess they only had in Wuhan or they only had one new case today or yesterday but so they think they've got a handle on it there they closed all the temporary hospitals but I mean they they impose some pretty draconian measures there to uh, to stem the tide so whether or not that'll happen here, whether there's the political will to do that here, remains to be seen. Um, yeah, if you've got a small business right now, it's 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 absolutely terrifying because you don't uh, you don't know if you're going to get paid, and your business is I don't care what business it is right across the line, your your business is dropping off dramatically and. I mean, your bills still stay the same and everything. So, you know, everybody's hoping that the government's going to help them out. But, uh, you know, they're working on plans. They're working on plans, but nothing concrete yet. And government typically moves at the speed of government. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, that's just uh, some ramblings. <laughs> Ramblings from the shed, their perspective on the pandemic. Anyways, I hope everybody's staying safe and uh, 
make sure you uh what's the word for it here the phrase um social contact maintain your social contact go stay six feet away from everybody else so <laughs> No, my wife's quite angry where she works. She has to share a cubicle with somebody. So she was telling them today, well, how can I have, uh, oh, social separation. That's what it is. How can I have social separation when I'm sharing a cubicle with somebody? But uh, her work, though, they're, like say, everybody's starting to disappear. People are just staying the hell with it and staying home or working at home if they're able to. So anyways, we shall see how this plays out. But again, everybody take care and stay safe. Cheers for now.